While we've all been trapped inside, self-isolating, Netflix's new docu-series, Tiger King, has become the latest must-watch guilty pleasure. The true crime series takes us into the world of the exotic animal industry and introduces us to some of its biggest players, Joe Exotic, Carol Baskin, Doc Antle, and others. But one big question many are left with is, how are these people allowed to own these animals in the first place? Some are endangered species, most are extremely dangerous. The fact is that the exotic animal trade is a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's not limited just to big cats. In different parts of the United States, you can get bears, chimpanzees, snakes, elephants, giraffes, and it's all totally legal. The few federal laws regulating the possession of exotic animals, including the Endangered Species Act, the Lacey Act, and the Animal Welfare Act, do not regulate private ownership, and they're mainly focused on regulating the import and export of wild animals into the country. There are also different laws depending on state, city, and county ordinances, wherein some might ban the possession of exotic animals, others might only require a basic permit or certificate. Hawaii has the strictest animal regulations in the United States. Their laws are designed to protect and preserve the native plant and animal life. Meanwhile, Florida, where Carol Baskin, one of the characters in Tiger King, maintains an animal sanctuary, classifies non-domesticated animals into one of three classes. Class 1 animals cannot be pets due to the dangers involved, while Class 2 animals can be obtained with a permit for personal use. Both Class 1 and 2 animal permits and licenses require additional standards, like caging and veterinary requirements. Class 3 animals can be obtained as pets by applying for a permit and filling out a questionnaire. Additionally, all the classified animals, along with venomous reptiles, require a license to capture, possess, or exhibit. These licenses and permits are pretty easy to get. In spite of the different regulations, some people have been able to sidestep the few existing laws by labeling their exotic pets as emotional support animals, or by becoming licensed breeders or exhibitors. And of course, people often buy animals in less restrictive states and illegally transport them to their more restrictive home states. And if you're wondering where these people even get the wild animals in the first place, well, apart from directly obtaining them from poachers, traffickers, breeders, zoo owners, and so on, the advent of online shopping has really opened the door to exotic animal ownership. A quick Google search will give you websites like exoticanimalsforsale.net, hoobly.com, and petzlovers.com, all of which have classified ads for wild animals. The good news is that there have been some changes to exotic animal laws in recent years. Several states have banned or restricted such pets. Tiger King mentions Zanesville, Ohio, where a local man let loose 50 of his wild animals before taking his own life. Most of the animals were killed by local law enforcement. And in the aftermath, Ohio totally banned the ownership of exotic pets. There's also the Big Cat Public Safety Act, which has 227 co-sponsors, including Senator Bernie Sanders and Representative Didia Velasquez. If enacted, this law would ban nearly all private ownership of big cats and prohibit public contact with them. In order to ban the private possession of wild animals, existing federal and state laws need to be reformed. States need to adopt uniform regulations on individual ownership of exotic animals and the trade industry in general. But these laws are difficult to change, as animal trade industry groups spend huge amounts of money lobbying Congress, and they can tie up court cases on the issue with a lengthy appeals process. Thanks to the viral success of Netflix's Tiger King, a tremendous amount of attention has been brought to this issue. And ultimately, that attention may actually cause a shift in public perception and end the wild animal trade industry once and for all.